was great to get a little bit of rain. Nothing severe today, just general run of the mill thunderstorms. Heading out towards the eastern plains, a couple of storms. We had some rain, much needed rain in our southwestern corner. Heading in here to the Denver area, you'll notice that we do have a little bit of heavier rainfall on the southeastern side of town right now. Had some heavy rain near Castle Rock and just a few showers rolling through Denver. Again, it was nice to get a little bit of moisture out there, but nothing too severe, so we'll take it. Out near uh, Colorado Spring, Calhoun right now, we've had a few storms out near Last Chance that are starting to fizzle out, but there has been some moderate to heavy rainfall. A few scattered showers in an area that really needs it in southwestern Colorado, where our drought levels are starting to creep back in, so we'll take all the rain we can get. For the most part, far eastern plains, you've been fairly dry today, and we have had this area of high pressure that's been with us for the last couple of months sort of settle back into the desert southwest. So we are looking at that heat with us today. We're going to stay in the low to mid 90s tomorrow. We really heat up, but then that high pressure sort of pushes away as we have our next front in this area of low pressure making uh, its way towards the western United States. So we do see a shakeup by Friday and then into Saturday and Sunday. So we will see a better chance for some rain and we'll also see some cooler temperatures gets us a little bit closer to our average. Future cast for tonight, the storms that are out there. Stick around for the next couple of hours and they'll clear out. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine. It's a great start to the day. It's going to be hot around here pretty quickly. And then we do have a chance for a few more afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Most of them in the high country, maybe some more rain here in Denver, Eastern Plains. You do look to stay on the dry side, unfortunately. Looking at Dorian, again, it's starting to pull away from the southern part of Florida. Still getting some rain in some of the southern areas, but now it's uh, closer to the coast of Georgia and all the way up uh, close to uh, the parts of South Carolina. So, uh, the Carolina is a little bit worried about making landfall in this area. Evacuations have already begun in many areas as the eye is getting closer along with some really heavy rainfall. So it is a category two. It does look like it still could hug the coast or possibly make landfall, but it does, uh, most of the models do have this be continuing to be a category two storm through at least Friday. Almanac for today, 92 out of DIA, but those clouds and that rain here downtown did prevent us from getting into the 90s. It certainly felt better with some shade today. And it was hot out at the airport, 88 downtown, obviously above average, 76 outside the CBS 4 studios right now with 85 out at the airport, 87 with from our weather watcher Wendy out in Pete's in our northeastern corner and across the state right now, actually DIA dropping to 85, 84 in Lyman, 86 in Ray High Country, 60s to the 80s, and then we have the 90s for most of the western side of the state tonight. A lot of mid-60s out there, 60s out east, high country, 40s to the 60s, and tomorrow it's hot, 96 in Denver, 95 in Greeley, triple digits in La Junta and Lamar, 70s, 80s in the mountains, and then 90s in western Colorado. And for your five-day forecast, 87 coming our way on Friday, Saturday, 85 degrees with a chance of a few more thunderstorms across the state. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Sports is